On the prowl, only a week after being freed from prison, but Jordan McSweeney had already broken the rules of his release and should have been back in jail. Probation service blunders left him free to roam the streets looking for a victim. He chose law graduate Zara Alina. In a terrifying and ruthless attack, McSweeney sexually assaulted her, then kicked her to death. The probation service should have assessed Jordan McSweeney as being a high risk of serious harm to the public. Had they done so, the way that his release from prison was planned and the controls that were put around him would have been far tougher and more robust, and there would have been more opportunities to bring him back to prison. Within days of his release, McSweeney had missed probation meetings. He was recalled to prison, but not quickly enough. The paperwork was delayed, then police couldn't find him. According to the report, McSweeney's previous convictions, his recent crimes and his violence in prison were all viewed in isolation. Nobody joined the dots. If they had, they would have realised he was at high risk of re-offending. Police finally did catch up with McSweeney right. okay. the day after he murdered Zara. Last week, it emerged that Damien Bendel was another violent criminal poorly managed by the probation service. He went on to kill three children and his pregnant partner. In a statement, prisons and probation minister Damien Hine said, we are taking immediate steps to address the serious issues raised by the Jordan McSweeney and Damien Bendel cases. This includes mandatory training to improve risk assessments, implementing new processes to guarantee the swift recall of offenders, and we have taken disciplinary action where appropriate. The Probation Officers' Union blamed the failings on earlier privatisation of their service and current staff shortages. It urged the Justice Secretary to boost investment. Martin Brunt, Sky News.